Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. So in a future video, just to give you a heads up, I did purchase an Ender 3 S1 Pro. However, as you may know, I did do a conversion to my Ender 3 V2 Neo to a direct drive system. And I'll give you a quick uh, look at that if you haven't seen it. Okay, so that's currently printing a buff Pikachu because I thought it was going to be fun. And it has a bunch of upgrades. However, um, I went ahead and broke it down to the essential upgrades to um, what I believe would compete with the S1 Pro or really more like the S1 line, but it, will, it does have beefier cooling than, than the S1 line as well. But in a future video, in a couple days, maybe a week from now, I'm going to put them head to head and see, we're going to see if it's worth spending the extra money in buying an S1 Pro versus buying an Ender 3 V2 Neo. And a quick breakdown of what you really need is just really the dual Z, the run out sensor, uh, some JST connectors, the 5015 fans, dual gear extruder, PEI sheet, which I believe is essential, and a bimetal heat break. These are in pesos, in Mexican, uh, Mexican pesos. So total upgrades. Now I've actually spent a lot more than that and testing different things on the burner, but th these are the bare down essentials. Um, it's going to be about $83 worth of upgrades, probably more or less, depending on where you buy. A lot of these parts were bought on AliExpress, so uh, these are going to be mainly AliExp AliExpress prices. So if you're willing to wait, you know, a couple weeks for shipping, then, you know, this is probably around what you're going to spend, around $83, maybe $85, maybe $90 max. But every, if you buy them off Amazon, then, you know, prepare to buy or, or you know, pay a little bit more for this, maybe upwards of $100 and just upgrades. Um, but currently on the Corality website, the Ender 3 V2 Neo is around $299. The Ender 3 S1 Pro is $479. Uh, the price for the V2 Neo with the upgrades, um, you know, the difference from the Neo and the S1 Pro is around $100. Um, so in a future video, we're going to see what the benefits are of getting the S1. Of course, the benefits are going to be, you know, it's just going to be plug and play, but we're going to see if there's actually any difference in the print quality, which is what I'm more interested in. Um, so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that. And um, yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments, uh, what specific things you want to see tested. Uh, so in case you're thinking about purchasing one or the other, uh, you know, which one could be a better suit for you. All right. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. You guys have a great day.